In Ecclesiastes 11, King Solomon shares a wealth of information concerning finances, nature, and trusting in God's sovereignty. He encourages diversity, cites the balance of joy and reality and aging, and the wonder and vanity of youth. Of finances, this wise king says there's wisdom in long-term investments and diversity because we really don't know what risks lie ahead. He tells us that overanalyzing a situation can result in the lack of progress. And he encourages us to put our trust in God as we move forward. Solomon speaks of our inability to comprehend God. Bible commentator David Guzik said this about that. Certain aspects of God's working on earth defy explanation. It's wise counsel we should trust from a king whose wisdom came from God. As with financial investments, Solomon encourages diversity in the kind of work we do, because we really don't know if profit will come from one activity or another. He cites the tension between the joys and the realities of aging, calling meaningless all the things that are yet to come. And then to the young, he says this, it's wonderful to be young. Enjoy every minute of it. Do everything you want to do. Take it all in, Solomon says. But remember that you must give an account to God for everything that you do. So refuse to worry and keep your body healthy. But remember that youth with a whole life before you is meaningless. Solomon, in closing out this chapter, again leaves us suspended in tension between the wonder of youth and the meaninglessness of life. Where does that leave you and I today? It reminds me that life can have real purpose and meaning, but only if we submit our lives to God's authority through a relationship with Jesus Christ. Only then can we experience the abundant life He has for His kids.